Hello, ladies. I went to go get my tea. It was a beautiful, beautiful day today. It's probably like about 65. 65, the sun was out. I played a little bit with my never left the house. <laughs> Glad you guys came back. I tried um there's different methods of doing the cyanotype printing and um I tried kind of the alternative way, but <laughs> I obviously did it incorrectly, kind of, you know, weird. And uh, it looked, it definitely looks weird, but it wasn't uh, exactly what I was to make it right. <laughs> oh, good, Darla. I'm glad you liked them. I got a few other orders. So tonight, uh, I love rummaging through all of my scraps. So I'm going to fill a couple of orders of those tonight. And um, see what I find. And now that I'm kind of in the fabric mood, after, uh, after I finish up next month's, I think maybe I'll put together something where we make some kind of like a like a fabric journey. And then one month, I would say probably in August, or I'm sure everybody in the Northern Hemisphere has sun. And for those of you that have done it, you know if you like it or not. Those of you that have not tried this before, I think um, I think you really enjoy, you know, doing something new, a little different. And I think we'll put together a journal that kind of goes around these colors and stuff. That's still in the workings in my head, too. I got a lot of things floating around in my head. It's a busy place up there. <laughs> it's a very, very busy place. <laughs> okay, this is weird. How come, oh, yeah, it is still backwards. I was going to say, how come it got straightened out? But for me, it's still backwards. That's okay. I can handle it. What are you guys up to? Let's see. Somebody has an evil circle going around buffing. There, you. Uh, someone else says they're buffering. Uh oh, it's going to be one of those nights. I can tell. Anybody else buffering? Is everybody else buffering, or just two people buffering? Make sure you go over there in that little tool that has the the speed and everything because um, and make sure it's where it needs to be because YouTube has created the default to be at the worst viewing. So go over and go make sure. Um, now, see, Peggy has no buffering right now. Darla has buffering. Sue has buffering. Okay. I think everybody's buffering. Now, see, I'm not on um, StreamYard. I just can't go in and go out. If I go out, I'm out and I have to start all over again. Okay. Laptop and the phone. Well, this may be a short night. <laughs> okay. Oh, very frustrating. Brooke's channel just went black. Okay, see, there's something on the internet. Because, see, I'm not even on Wi-Fi. I'm hot-wired in. So I should not, you know, be buffering at all. It isn't like my my internet Wi-Fi connection is iffy. I'm hot-wired. So that's why when mine does that, it's very strange to me. 
It's acting okay now. See, it heard me spilling the beans on him that there's no reason for it. Oh, mine went blank too? See, then it's YouTube. Well, we'll just press on and see what we can get done. If, you know, if it gets too much for you guys, because obviously on my end, I'm not seeing a problem because that's just the nature of it. So um, as long as you guys can, you know, muddle through the little chaos over there, we'll continue. But if it gets too much for everybody, we'll just have to call it a night. And maybe try it again tomorrow or something and see um, how that goes. Oh, Brooke lost power completely. Okay. Go for it. I like your attitude. Let's do it. <laughs> Guess I don't know about this dream. What are you talking about, hottie? Okay, she's back. Good. Popo's just here to cause problems. And she's good at it. All right. So what I thought we would do today is um, if you guys were at my other stream, I don't know what day it was, <laughs> but we were playing around with some of these existing um, watercolors that I had already had um, painted with these colors. And then I brought out some of my stamps. And then uh, we played around with, what was it? It wasn't the Stabilo, it was that other one, the, um, the other pencil, the other pen. And so I thought, um, let's use these for some mermaids. So I got the little pattern, and where did that go? The little pattern that we have in the kit which is the bottom, the smaller fin, the real small one. And, um, and just created a little pattern with some cardboard. And then I had a few of these that were left over that I hadn't used yet. So I cut out um, some of the fins out of that paper. So that's what I've already done. Not sure exactly how this is all gonna come together. But that's kind of sort of what I'm playing with. Then I got one of the girls and kind of cut around her head. Let's put a different color so you can see them. Kind of cut around her because, you know, they were all originally in these squares. And so I thought, you've got ladies in your little printouts of the different mermaids. And you could, you know, cut those out and cut around them. And then paint some papers, or if you have cardstock that you like, scrapbook paper that you like, images out of different magazines where you just like the colors because this is small enough. When you cut it out, it might look pretty cool. And then you could create a body, a different type of body for the pre existing little um, printouts that you have. And then I thought that it would look kind of cute if we just put um, a little brat or something. So they're kind of little small ones so that they're kind of floating. And if you don't want, if you don't want that look, you could always just, you know, glue them to each other and, um, you know, do something like that. I thought those would look kind of fun to put together. So what, so in doing that, then I thought that one page that I had showed you that it talked about making these, these little um, pockets for us to put things into. I thought, well, why don't we try that? I don't think that should take us four hours or five hours, whatever that other one took. This should take a lot less. Mm, famous last words, um, to do this and see how that comes out. Maybe we can incorporate some of our shells. Who knows? Who knows? So that's what I'm kind of thinking about. So if you guys are kind of game with that, we'll try that. And just keep me posted with the buffering and all that. And 
you know, we'll see what we can do. But I don't think there's anything on my end I can do because I'm hot wired. So it must be, you know, either YouTube or or something. Okay, so let me get some of this out of the way. Get my little girls out of the way. And we'll start with the actual book to create the pockets first. And just to give you a little idea, because I don't have any pre-made for you. Just to give you a little idea, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take some of the pages. We're going to fold them over. We're going to glue them or attach them, whatever way we decide to attach them to the sides and the bottom. I mean, the easiest is glue, but there's alternative ways to do it. And then we'll just um, do some little cards of some kind that we can put inside of those pockets and see how many of the different things that we have we can incorporate onto that one page. I think it'll look kind of cool. I'm just telling you that I do, I do, I do. So... I need to find a place where I have enough to fold two pages. Okay, so this is what I would need because I'm gonna fold this one down like that to create the pocket and glue it there and fold this one down and glue it there to create the pocket. So that's what it needs to look like. If you're doing uh, the altered book, then you need to have four pages glued here, four here, four here, and four here. And then when it comes to decorating, you're only going to see half of this page, you know, like at a diagonal. So it's up to you if you want to paint the whole thing, glue the whole thing, whatever background you want to do. If you want to do the whole thing, that's up to you. All it does is make it, you know, extra firm, which is always good in an altar book for you to have some pretty sturdy pages. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue the whole thing down. I think it's just easier. That way you make sure you've got the whole space covered. And then on this one, I might even do the same thing. So you just need to do this side, this side, these two, and these two. You don't have to do the back side because you're going to fold it down. So for the sake of time, um, I'm not going to paint them because I've got some painted papers already. So I might as well use these um, or else it's going to take too long to dry. But you guys could go ahead and paint and stamp or glue, whatever it is that you want to do. But, you know, I have a whole bunch of these uh jelly prints that I've already done. Now what I'm doing with this one, because everything I have here is blue, blue, and blue. So I need a contrasting color so that when I put these in here, they they have they pop. So that's why I'm going with this warmer um tone color. Maybe not that one, but I've got quite a few here. You probably might have been around when I was doing these crazy prints. Oops. I'm not sure I want the red necessarily. And I got that cleanup paper. That's kind of cool too. I like it how it's all just a big mess. Now this has the red and the blue. That might look cool on the pocket part that's folded. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I want to lean on. I've got a little too much blue. I want to lean into these warm oranges and yellows so oh i forgot to get my my little um container with water and my brush i washed them out last night here right Okay, before I go any further, any questions missed? Oh, yeah, Kathy, elegant writer. That's what we were playing with. Correct. My brain is a sieve. Let's see. 
And okay. No questions that I need to answer. Alrighty. So uh, oh, I gotta get my my precious mod budge. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I forgot to look around to see if I had other glue last night. I'm sure I got something. Even if it's just Elmer's glue. What do I have? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I have gel gloss. I want to use gel gloss. That's bad. I have crackle. I want to use crackle. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I do have something. Look what I just found. And it's full. Huh. Huh. What else? What else do I have? I don't know I have. Here I am, all freaking out, and I got stuff. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, no, no, no. It's for outdoors, but who cares? This is a glue, a sealer, and a finish. Hello. I have that. That means I can take the book outside. <laughs> Okay, I don't have to worry about nothing. I got plenty of junk. Whoa! I got plenty of junk to play with. Worried about nothing. Okay. Good news, good news. Let me put this over here so things are all apart. What's that? Oh! <laughs> See, that's the beauty of never really looking at what you have. Because then when you have to go look, you just discover all these cool things. Oh, but that's gloss. I don't want to use that either. Okay. We got plenty, though. I'm not going to worry. I don't have to panic yet. No panicking yet. So, which one did we decide on? A little too much blue, I think. I kind of sort of like that one. Maybe a little further up so I have a little bit of the orange, but mostly the yellow. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe I should do these so that when I fold them, I see the color behind it. Or does that matter? Oh, you're overthinking it, Rosemary. You tell everybody, don't overthink it. Just do it. Okay, shut up. Just shut up. And I always overlap it a tiny bit because I know I'm going to cut it too short. Because that's just what I do. So now we'll glue that down. I know. I got the brush you guys just love. Be looking through your stash and see which one of those uh, mermaids or fish's heads or I need.
Then I need to glue a full page over here. Something so they don't glue together. And now I need one on the side. Yeah. It goes together, but it's not matchy matchy. I like that. I'll look him in, up in a second if you guys have a question. <laughs> you know I will eventually. Don't glue that. I just put glue on there. Did you just see what I did? Did you see what I just did? Don't do that. Don't do that. That'll ruin your whole puppet. And yes, I did eat before I started. I had a really late breakfast, so I had a really late lunch. My late lunch was about 4 o'clock. <laughs> so it might as well have been my dinner or supper, depending on what part of the country you live in. Can't tell you how many times I'm corrected. No matter what I say, it's the wrong, it's the wrong thing. No, it's not dinner, it's supper. No, it's not supper, it's dinner. Oh my goodness. I had a meal that wasn't lunch and wasn't breakfast, okay? Sticking, but usually the edge. I do miss the edges every once in a while. Okay, so now we need to put something on here, and um, and you can do this two ways. You can fold it this way and create a, a whole different look, and you can put stuff that way, or you can you're going to end up folding it this way and create a pocket. So let's decide which way we're going to do it. So if we do it this way, we need to make sure this is decorated and this is decorated. But I think I'm just going to do the onesie. <laughs> I think I just want to do the onesie. I want all the attention to go to, um, to the the little tags that I'm making. I don't want this to be so much the um, the decorating, the attention getter. I want the car little tags or little cards, whatever you want to call them, to be that. So in doing that, then, we know, and I can already see that this is going to lift a little bit right there. I can see that already going to be an issue. So before it's a big issue,
I'm going to put this right there. And then I can always cover this up with a piece of the um, paper that I glued down there. Patching up is our friend. So let's turn that over like that. And that how that's what's going to be showing. So at that point, you can decide how much of this page you want to decorate. If you just want to decorate up to where it's going to fold, that's up to you. You want to do the whole thing. La di da, la di da, whatever wants. So let me see what paper I'm going to put on there. I think maybe I want to put this one and then I can come back over those light spots with some of my pan pastels or something to really make it pop. I wonder if I can get both of these. Oh, maybe I can. Let's just do that and see what happens. Let's just glue that down and we'll just fill in the gaps that don't have any color. All right, I think that's what we'll do. What did I do with that? Um, I put it somewhere, oh well. I'll just get another one. Put that there so we can put a bunch of glue. Okay, so we're going to glue this all down, this paper. Then after it's dry, then we'll fold it back. Maybe I should kind of halfway fold it now so we have a, because this is going to get pretty stiff here. And see, this stuff helps if we're going to like, if you're going to put different holes in it and you're going to put maybe some threads or, you know, decorate it somehow. And that way it has something nice to cling on to instead of just some kind of flimsy paper. All right. Okay, so that gets our, our little bend there started. Okay, let's get this side down first. And whatever we don't get, we can always patch in. I don't worry about that.
Okie dokie. All right, so that's got to dry. And if it doesn't completely dry, well, we can use our heat tool, but let's just let it dry naturally for now. Okay, so let's bring these little guys over and see what we're going to do. I don't have like a total plan. <laughs> I just know that... Um, I wanted to cut their heads out and define them a little bit better. I know that I want this to be part of their, I mean, I want that to be their body. That's about the only thing I know for sure. So while I'm trying to figure out exactly what we're doing, <laughs> let me go ahead. I do have all the bottoms. All the bottoms are cut out. I did that ahead of time because you don't need to be bored with that. You guys know how to use a pair of scissors. So they're ready to go. Somehow. And if you got here late, what I did is I took the little small fin pattern that we have there in the, in the kit and then I um, traced it onto a piece of cardboard, used that as my pattern. And then I already had some of these that were colored a long time ago. This watercolor paper, but you can use scrapbook paper, whatever you have. And then I just traced them out and cut them out. That's all I know for sure right now. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing yet. So I'm just going to roughly cut these out. I want. I want the blue to come through. You know, I don't want it to be a. Um, a real precise cut. I just want to highlight some of the. Some of the hair that's floating around. And so I'm cutting it out probably about what, a quarter of an inch. Whoops, I just cut that, that little thing out. I didn't notice that. Let's just put it back in there. So I'm going out about a quarter of an inch so I can have some of the, the color from the background. Over here, Miss Miss Sixty. I think this was a. I think she was a model for Aquanet or something. Look at those flips. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to cut her shoulders down a little bit. We'll fine tune those afterwards. I think she used the other brand. She used the Aquanet and she used the off brand because look, it kind of kind of went all over and got a little frizzy. 
So it was sort of like the what to do, what not to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, see you later, Suze. Oh, excuse me, I had a drink. <sighs> Leslie found us again live. Man, she's batting a thousand. Yeah, bad hair day. Okay, so I kind of trimmed her off so that at least my vision of her, she's proportional. Someone else, she may not be. So I'm kind of okay once I do a little, you know, trimming and doing some highlighting and stuff. I think she'll be okay. We can always go back and trim her up a little bit. Um... You could always put this in the back, but for some reason in my mind, I want it in the front. I don't know why, but I just do. So because I want it in the front, I got to make sure that there's a little bit of an overlap because I'm going to put um, these little brads. You can glue them. You can, you know, tack them with some thread, you know, whatever you have or whatever you want to do. But. So if I'm going to put it about right there, that means I need to trim that a little bit. So more or less, I say that that kind of goes for how I envision it. And she's got a lot that has to come off. <laughs> so she's got to have a little bit of a curve right here. Ease her in there. And we got to get her hair to go in a little bit more. Okay, see, she looks better already. She looked like she had a day at the spa. There we go. And we have them all now. Is that all of them? Oh, no. I didn't do that one yet. So she just needs a tiny bit of a trim. Ever so slightly. And then after we put the brad in, if we need to do some more trimming, we'll do it then. Okay. What do you guys think? Yay. So then I think so that the the um so that they kind of sort of look like they're supposed to go together. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get the elegant writer and we're going to go around the exterior 
And then that way they look like they're more cohesive. And then after that dries, I'll come back with the white pen and it'll kind of hopefully look like they're meant, they're meant to be. Meant to be. So let me go get my writer. Now, those of you that are new to Elegant Writers, they're technically a calligraphy pen. I don't honestly know how they work as a calligraphy pen because all they do is bleed. <laughs> and they come in different tips, different sizes. I am i don't do calligraphy, so I don't know one size from another. I just grab one and use it. But for those of you that it means something to, these are the sizes that they come in. Oh, that's the same as that one. And that's the same as that one. So these are the two sizes I have, which is 2, 2.5, and 3. So this has an F, must be fine, medium, and bold. I don't know if that's what it means, but that's what I'm going to say it means. And these are highly pigmented and they are water soluble, but once you wet them, um, they dry permanent. And, um, and they do some really cool blossomy kinds of stuff when you just play around with them. So I need to go get me the back to a napkin so I can play with that. Okay, who does that resemble? How many are you going to raise your hand? <laughs> who does that resemble? I don't know if it's a two ply or one ply. These are kind of cheapies, so maybe it's just one. Uh-oh. Nope. It's got two. Okie dokie. Jackie, welcome, welcome. We just did a bunch of gluing. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give an overview when we get back to the stuff that is drying. So right now we're going to play a little bit with these fins and the elegant writer. And all I'm going to do is trace them out. Very simple. So I have something to wet. Now, you can get these on Amazon. Last time I got mine, I got them at um, Michael's. They were closing them out. I don't think they carry them anymore. So I got them, you know, like 70% off or something. 
I don't know if the, you know, like Joann's or the other places carry them or not, you know, places where you can use your coupon. I'm not sure. But every once in a while, even on Amazon, they have them on sale. Sometimes you can get the set of three for the same price as one. So if you look, you know, look really hard. Don't go on the first thing that pops up. Now there are other colors, but the other colors really don't do what the what the black does. So I mean they're water soluble and everything else and they do bleed, but they don't bloom in the different colors that this black does. All right, and where's and so you can, if you want, you know, you can also put in little marks like this original pattern has over the the scales. Now, if you have a Stabilo pen pencil, you can do it. If you have a just a plain O um, pen that isn't permanent, you know, just a writing pen, those will also bleed. You can do the same thing with that. You know, we complain, oh, that thing bled. Well, sometimes you want it to. Grab that one. That pen you can't stand because it bleeds every time water touches it. Go get it. It's your friend tonight. Okay. Small brush time. Small brush. Now her body matches.
Boy, this is really bleeding. Good. It likes um. It likes the watercolor paper, and it does react a little differently to each kind of paper you put it on. The way the water flows on it, you know. All right, so that part is done. And let's dry that a little bit. Sometimes you forget to dry the back. It helps it lay flat. You get the back a little shot. Especially with watercolor paper. It's so absorbent. Okay, let's check our page and see if those are dry. If not, we can hit those a little bit. It feels pretty dry. Let's just give it a little shot. Okay, any questions? Yes, Vivian, they do. Once they've been water activated, they, they are permanent. So what a lot of artists do that work with these, um, that paint with watercolors, they will draw their painting with a pen, come in and activate it just like I did. And of course, there's there's no colors in the back, so it's all just white paper. And um, and then you can come in with your watercolors and paint, um, you know, whatever it is that they're doing, their flowers or their leaves or whatever, um, because it's it's permanent and it's really pretty. The work that they do. The very first time I saw this pen being used was with an artist that was that's what she does. She does watercolor, and I was just amazed. And one picture that she did. She activated all the lines with the actual watercolors and they, of course it bled and it was just really beautiful. I don't know how to watercolor, but it looked gorgeous. <laughs> it made you think you could do it. It just looked so pretty. All right. So I'm going to trim all of these pages back that I overlapped.
wish I could remember that lady's name. She doesn't put out very many um, videos. I think the video I saw wasn't even under her name. She was doing it like, I don't remember, like Cheap Joe's or something else. Some kind of an art um, channel. And she was featured using that pen. But I think if you if you just go into YouTube and look up Elegant Writer, I'm sure she will pop you up. You'll see something really beautiful in watercolors with all these, you know, this black surrounding it. And you'll know, oh, that's it. She's probably using the Elegant Writer. There you go. I should have known. Darla would find her. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so these are cut and ready to go. And so we're creating our pockets. And see, um, making this crease before you put that final one, it is very helpful because it just kind of folds into place instead of it being so stiff and hard. All right, so I need to do a little something here because, 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 because. So, I'm not sure if I want to use my oil pastels here or if I just want to get my pan pastels and fill in here. Oops, I need to cut that. I didn't even notice. I'm not done. I forgot one whole page to cut. And if you guys weren't here last night, this is what we made, the little, the little puppet, the little puppet guy, my little fish puppet. Well, we didn't make that. We made one like that one. Co we did a giveaway and Colleen won the original <laughs> that we made. Show you what we made. What we made last night. Here's what we made last night. Look how cute. Ta da! <laughs> and so, yeah, you can make it like that. And then, if you have a, a altered book or something, then all you have to do is glue it in or if you have a, a regular um, a regular little journal that you're making, you can still glue it in either way. And that's what we made. That was so much fun. So I think I will glue these down. These little frayed edges I got here. And I didn't glue. And 
And then I'll get my old trusty uh, double-sided tape and tape that down. Alrighty. And this is where I have my problems all the time. <laughs> I have no idea how old this is. It was given to me. And so it kind of sort of doesn't want to come up. But I have so much of it, I have to use it. Once I get it off, it sticks really good. But getting that top off is um, challenging, to say the least. I know you guys have already seen me struggle with it. <laughs> it's because when I'm taking it off, for some reason, it lifts the, the tape itself. But it's weird because then once I get this off and I glue stuff, this stuff will not move at all. And when I want it to stay still, it won't. So we'll put this down. That's good right there. Now remember, you know, all these techniques for, oops, for the, um, for an altar book, you know, you can adapt all of these techniques to whatever look you like. I know everybody is not into a funky fish, but you can adapt these techniques to any look that you like. We're just kind of going to the extreme here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Now, make sure my little guy isn't glued together somewhere. Okay, he's still good. Okay. All right. So now I have to cover these sections up so, you know, I have these blank spots. And then we have to decide how we're going to attach these. I'm thinking, hey, I didn't cut that either. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking it looked kind of cool if we use those, um, those shells that I showed you last night. We can make some holes. And kind of put them there to hold it shut. Maybe. We'll see. You got to be careful. You got a lot of different things you can cut. That you don't want to cut. Oh, good. It hardly shows at all. Yay! Okay, so where are those little shells? So I can refresh your memory and see what you guys think. First, refresh my own memory. I gotta find them. Oh, here they are. So, if we made, let's say, two holes right there. Let's just say two holes. And through those holes, we put this wire and then kind of tied them together and then we would just have you know, a little seashell there somewhere, somehow, kind of holding it down there. That might look cute, huh? Could do that. I mean, we could do the old fashioned glue it down, glue it down. We could sew it down. We could put several holes, larger holes, and weave um, if we had some cool looking fibers we could weave that in through there something that kind of looked like something floaty under the ocean you know um a lot of different things think about it i uh, meanwhile i have to cover this up before i even do the holes so you keep that in the back of your mind what you think we should do because i was thinking you know because we did have some um, shells in the kit that might be one way to use them um, we also have that um, trim it look a little bit like seaweed that might look kind of cute right there oh I, I see capitals I see capitals oh good point Sue I will do that Uh oh, who's not baking anymore? What happened to the baking? What were you baking and what happened? We need to know. I needed a tea break anyway. Leslie just wants to tease us. Come on, spill it. I think I'm going to go get my um, oil pastels. I think that's what I want to cover it up with.
I flipped over. <gasps> oh no. I think you flipped too soon. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Jessica says organza ribbon. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say get your ice cream and go down on the floor and pretend you have a clean floor <laughs> and eat it up. Eat it up. <laughs> no time to waste. Let me see. Mm. No, it's the same color. Yes, I think between those three, we've got it. Whoops. I think we got it. Fifty piece natural spiral shell beads. What? They're beads. Mm. See, mine don't have any holes in them. You guys are getting all fancy on me.
We're getting there. And remember, we'll have these bright colors popping in and out of here with our little cards for our for our mermaids. Now, I'm going to trim out here with some dark something. I'm not sure what. <clears throat> it might even be that kind of a deep deep blue to tie in our mermaids. We'll test those colors out, see what they look like. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I like that. Mm, kind of like that too. Well, it's a lot like the other one, so I won't worry about that. What was this one? I like those too for my color palette. Let's go with those. What kind of oil pastel? These. They're the cheapest ones you can get. Um, I forget the name of the brand. Artist Loft. <laughs> they are literally the cheapest ones you can buy. A lot of these I find at the um, at the junk shops. You know, people buy them and then they don't use them, or they buy them for their kids and their kids don't use them. So every time I go in and see if there's any, I go, "Oh, there's some more chalk too." I love playing with chalk and. Then I upgraded to like real pan pastels. I like playing with those too. Yeah, Brenda, they're pretty cheap, huh? I mean, and they last forever. It isn't like you, if you like them, you have to keep replenishing them.
Okay, so I'm going over here a little bit over on this side, and I'm done with the blue. Actually, I'm done with all of them. All right, next. All right, so I guess... I guess we'll do the um, the shells just for the fun of it. So we already decided on that. So let's finish up our little cards and tags, whatever we're going to call these. And we can do this one of two. Well, I was thinking in terms of two different ways. I have some cardboard this is from the back side of my um media paper so i thought if i cut these in half and put some cool paper some of my other deli paper that i've printed with and glued it on this and then put the body parts together and just glue, no, not glue. I would put the brad through here and through here and through here. And that way um, she can move any way she wants to. I thought that would be kind of cute. And then they slip into, it'd be cut in half and they, they slip in here. And I thought they'd look kind of cute. What do you guys think? What do you 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 think? I'll drink while you think. Okay, Elizabeth. Don't think of us while you're reading. <laughs> Nobody has any opinions? Did you guys fall asleep? Let me see what the halfway mark is on these. Twelve, so that would be six. Yay! I'm glad it was even because I didn't want to have to like really do a whole bunch of math. So now what I have to do is cover the front with some paper. Any old paper. It has a nice contrast to this. So we'll just stick with the same color palette that we've got the page. That way the actual mermaids stick out. 
So I kind of like that. A little metallic to it. Ooh, I do like that. Okay, let's see. Can we get four out of that? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, we can get three. Three is better than nothing. You know what? I'm just going to glue it down. That way when I cut it, oops. Because when I try to cut it two times, it's going to make a mess. I know myself. I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to make a mess. Where's my glue? Okay, let that dry. Now I guess I have to have one. Well, nobody says I have to have four. Do I? Well, let's cover one up just in case. Just in case I change my mind. So yes, I do need four. Yeah, that's right there. Now you see why a lot of people are not into mixed media. It takes a lot of time and there's like a hundred steps to everything. As opposed to just like if a glue book. That's why I like glue books. Cut, glue, next page is over. <laughs> you get so much more accomplished in the same amount of time. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, how long have we been here doing this? Okay. Let's dry this a little bit. Don't even have one page done yet. And see, and then you get frustrated with yourself because you watch a cute little, you know, 15 minute video and they do this whole thing in 15 minutes. And then you go and try it and you're going, uh. <laughs> uh. So then you think you're doing something wrong because you've barely picked your papers out the first 15 minutes. And yes, I could have turned it over, but I want the edges to be raw. And then I'm just going to put, you know, some some dark something on there, whether it's ink or paint or whatever. Sort of like we did on the little puppet. Just darken it all up. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, those fast forwards are very deceiving. It makes it makes them look like a genius and make you feel stupid. It's pretty much what it does. And then you just do this, and I just did this, and <laughs> And then turn this over. And look how cute this came out. See you next week. <laughs> I hope I've inspired you to use your, your supplies. And next week, I'll show you how I can do it standing on my head. Well, Sherry, that's the um, the beauty of fast forward. <laughs> if you kind of already have an inkling of how to do something, you just need to be refreshed. You know, like, wait, I forgot that one step. And you just find that spot and you watch it and, hey, it's over. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I get it. I do the same thing with different stuff. I go, now, wait, I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? 
so and so had a pretty good video on that. And then you go over there and go to a certain marker and bam. Okay, now I got it. Bye bye. Thank you very much. But usually those are um, people that you already, you know, trust that they know what they're doing. Because there's a lot of bad information out there, too. Just do this, this, this. And I'm going, no, that's not even what it's called, let alone the way you're supposed to do it. You got those people out there, too, you know. If I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I tell you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around. And if I do know what I'm doing, I'll let you know that too. Like, don't pay attention to what these other people are telling you because they don't know what they're talking about. All right. Now, as far as all this is concerned, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just doing it to have fun. <laughs> and I'm trying to encourage you to loosen up and have some fun by doing something a little, a little different outside your box, outside your element. Okay, let's put the little fins there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, they already look cute. All right, so then in theory, what I'm going to do, we'll see if it works. I'm not sure. I'm going to poke a little hole in there, put the little brad, and then connect them through the brad and then tape down the brad and then put another piece of paper back here. I already see a problem. I don't like how it looks from the back. I want to be able to flip them over, which means I have to put something on the back because I don't like that white like that showing. I could just paint it. This is, um, um, Hello, watercolor paper. So I could just, you know, throw some watercolor on there and that would be the fastest way to do it. The more tedious way would be, whoops, would be if, you know, you wanted to glue something back there, then you got to cut it all over again and wah, 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 wah. So I think I'm just going to put a little watercolor on here just so the stark white is not there. And I think that will serve my purposes just. Just hunky dory. And that way, when they move about, it's just a nice little color. And I'll just do it in the same, same colors that I did before the blues. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So let's go get out the watercolors and just slap some, some blues on there, and we'll be happy. Nothing special, just so it's not white. And that's all. What colors did I use? What were we playing with that night? I remember you guys wanted... Oh, I know where it is. I know which ones we were playing with. We were playing with these, and I told you, don't ask me nothing, because I don't know anything about watercolors. But they wanted to know the brand. That was the brand. I guess that was the brand. Oh, that's the brand. Yeah. Same, same. I guess I get a bigger brush so I can... Slop up a lot more at one time. <laughs> Slop up, you know, technical term, slopping up. I'll pick up the colors with the smaller one, I think. Because it'll be too sloppy. Because I do it the other way.
That'd be good. Just so it's not white. I'll be happy. And maybe I'll come back with a little bit of that, um, that what you call it pen, you know what I mean? Just so it all looks a little consistent. See that pen's already bleeding through on the back side. See how it's, it's already doing it for me. I may not have to come back. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. <clears throat> Uh-oh, what did I do with that little thing? Uh-oh. Well, I'll go on the hunt afterwards. Let me clean the brush first. I could be all day looking for that little thing. That clear thing, it must have fallen out.
Okay. You guys need a break? I've been sipping on my drink, so I'm okay. You guys need a snack or a potty break? <laughs> Let's see. Because right now all I'm going to do is um, poke the little holes. Poke the little holes, the little pokey holes. Got to find something that will go through that. I'm a crocodile, but I think the hole would be too big for the little brads that I'm using. Yeah, I think that hole's as big as the head. Yep. So, I'll find another little pokey toe that I have. And what would that be? Let me see. Hmm. I just need something that pokes a little hole. Pokes a little hole, but it's got to be pretty sharp because it has to get through that cardboard. Maybe that'll work. Let's try that. I need something a little more pointy. Oh no, it's working. It's getting warm in here. No, oh, not really. I'm just getting warm. Okay, let's see how that looks. We'll get something maybe on the yeah, on the dark side. Oh, I gotta figure out where I want the hole on here though. Let me line it up, see where I want it. I'm trying to go slow so I don't make a big giant hole. Now I have to see if these little boogers are long enough. See, I wasn't thinking ahead. See, now you really know that I haven't done this before. <laughs> or else I wouldn't have, I would be already know what I'm supposed to be thinking about. Mm -hmm. Yay, it fits. So 
so let's close this and don't put it so tight that your little your little bodies can't move kind of test it out make sure it's not too tight it's almost too tight I'll just leave it just the way it is and then I would suggest you put a little bit of tape over it before you put your backing on there so it doesn't tear through your paper and then double check always double check these little guys and you got the little blue back there so it doesn't look so stark white much better all right so we're going to do all of them like that and then we'll come back and put some paper back here to correspond and now that i'm thinking about this you know it'll look really cute when you guys make yours do this make this the shape of a big fin hello why didn't i think of that wouldn't that be really cute if it was this shape but just like bigger that would be so cute. Oh, well. It's okay. It's okay. I know. Colleen already thought about it, and she's already got two of them done. I know. She probably already has them posted in the group. I know, Colleen, I know it. I didn't even have you where we want to put the hole for this one. And I really like that. So I'll put that on the bottom so you can probably see a little bit more of it. Because their head will cover up a lot of the paper on this one. So let's put that right there. If you have a big fat needle, that would work too, I think. Like an upholstery needle or something. Miss Sixties. What was the famous name during the Sixties? Can't think of one. Twiggy. <laughs> All right, that works. Next. Who doesn't? Oh. Yeah, see, great minds think alike. Twiggy. I can't think of another name that is like iconic. Oh, Marilyn. Hello, there's Marilyn. I mean, Marilyn is the 60s, right? Marilyn. 
Marilyn, Twiggy. We need three names. You got Marilyn and Twiggy. Who else? Okay, this looks more like um, we got to look at their faces. Okay, this one's Marilyn. I think this might be more like, oops. I think she. I don't know who she is. Sophia. Oh, don't tell that to my husband. Oh, my goodness. He won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> He's got a big crush on Sophia Loren. Ever since he was a little puppy. See, um, I'm going to try. Did I do that on that one? No, I didn't. I was going to say, I'm going to try and keep the fins up from the bottom so that when it goes in that little pocket, the fins don't, you know, curl up or whatever. But it's pretty, pretty thick. Um, okay. Doris Day Raquel. Oh, yes. I loved, I get, see, I'm corny. I like all the little innocent stuff. I love Doris Day movies. As a little kid, I just watched all those reruns of movies. Joan Crawford scared me. <laughs> Wasn't she 50s, though? Where's her pen? How here's your pen? <laughs> oh, Betty, you remember that now. Don't you know when you're cleaning out that closet and getting all upset at Popo, remember. I thought Marilyn was still hot when the Kennedys were around. At least they thought she was hot. That was the 60s. I think my favorite movie of Marilyn Monroe is How to Marry a Millionaire. She's so cute and innocent in that movie. 
and funny. She is so underestimated as a as a comedian actress. She was so funny. Okie dokie. Now all we got to do is glue the paper in the back. And our card is done. I can't believe it. Only took us 20 hours. Now all I have to do is not get the glue on there and I'll be okay. Okay, here's our little, here's our little cards, tags, whatever you want to call them. Oh, look how cute. Look how cute they look. <laughs> All right, who's going to bed? Good night. So I guess on the back, I'll just go ahead and use what I've got. Let's see how these look in here first. Uh oh, I don't know if all four of these are even gonna fit in here now. Maybe I need to put a pocket out here also. Maybe. That's a lot of stuff. I didn't think about that. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot going on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put some extra pockets in there. Good thing I checked before I started gluing everything down. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Now, if I got another piece of something and we put a short little pocket right here about that high and we could put them in there or I could just put a little side pocket and glue it here like that and have it go in here like that or Or we could put just like a band all the way across with that um, with that canvas that we have, and just have it go like to right here. Hmm. 
Let's stick that in. We have too many options. Oh, well, either way, we've got to glue the backs to these. So let's get these done before we start it causing more problems for ourselves. Now, are we going to write on these? Or are we? Are they just art, art pieces? That's what I want to know. Hey, Jean, how are you doing? Yay, new people. Okay, Rosemary, do two hit. What? A, a hidden pocket. Oh, my gosh. How am I going to do a hidden pocket now? See, if this wasn't done, I could. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, if I do a pocket on a side pocket, they're gonna pop out that much. And then they can pull out from there. And pull out from there. And from here. They both have to be over here because I can't do that on this side. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Which way'd they go? I gotta do the ones with the thinner heads. <laughs> oh, I only have one with a thin head. Because they're all, all pretty big headed there. Okay, so these could go here and then. Those could go there. And the paper would be back here, so you'd have the orange showing. And then if we did that, we still have all this room that we could decorate really cool have some of our printouts on here somehow. So what do you guys think? You could glue triangles to the top of the existing pockets to make two more triangles. Okay, now you're losing me. I mean, like that? Is that what you mean? Or like that? They don't fit. They don't both fit on the top. And I can't do this on this side because I don't have a page to do it with. So the only place I can make extra pockets is behind this one because I have an extra page right here. And see, they don't they don't fit. Two of them don't fit there. Unless they're just, you know, free floating like that. You could do it that way. See, the only thing was when you did it this way, I could glue something to put something to separate them, and at least it had their own little cubby hole. But it's a little awkward that way. So this might be a good option, like you said. 
See when that gets glued down. I don't know if it's too tight because those things are kind of chunky. It might work. Toilet paper roll, it's not big enough. This is wider than a toilet paper roll. I just might have to figure out a way to give them a home here, that's all. Nothing wrong with that. Now see if I had some cool netting, which I don't. I could put some netting right here and then stick them in the netting. I don't have any, but that would look cool. Yep, 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 that would look cool. Wait a second, let me go see. Okay, everyone take a break. I'm gonna go find something. Oh my goodness. Okay, break's over. How about that? It's not exactly about like real netting, but it passes, doesn't it? I like it. Yeah, I don't have the onion bags either. I had a bunch of netting. I used them all on a different project. So I'm like net free. I think that looks kind of cool. Good night, Joyce. Thank you for coming. The wave. Oh, the wave. Oh, man. I knew I had you guys around for a second. Where's my wave? Where's my wave? I know I saved me one. Uh oh, where'd my wave go? Uh-oh, maybe I'm waveless. Because after I stopped making the um the kits, quite a few people called me. So I made some, you know, I made some up. And I'm wondering if I have any, if I saved me any. Uh-oh. Where would it be if I have it? All my stuff's right here together. Uh -oh. I'm pretty waveless. Yeah, I think I think I think I think that's all my Asian stuff. That's all my Frida stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I. I think. Yeah, I think I'm waveless, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, I don't have a wave. It went in my last kit. So, so there. Oh, I forgot if I showed you guys this. I may have already. I always made this. It's a bunch of bluers. Isn't that cool? Perfect. Okay, so back to this. Okay, that was a good idea, but it doesn't work when, I, when I'm waveless. So, let me see. One last clip. No, it's not there either. No. I got, actually, I got quite a few requests after they were all sold out. So, I just got all my stuff and, you know, separate out into as many kits as I could. And then, then after that, I just had to say no. Nope. Sorry. No more. Okay. So, so let me go and cut, cut a piece just to play with. And I don't know what I'm going to glue that down with. Probably hot glue, huh? To make it stay in place. It's so open weaved. But I digress. We were going to finish the tags, right? We can always do this later. Right? Right. <laughs> oh, and then... These were sent to me in Happy Mail. Or this might look cool glued right there and let that hang out the top. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Hello. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got some use for those. These came all the way from Texas, <laughs> exotic Texas. <laughs> Rosemary. Um. Oh, yes, most definitely. I am serious about the carrot top. Um, all you have to do is put, um, lame flat, you know, and, um, put them on a paper towel, like two paper towels and throw them in an envelope. Don't put them in, in plastic or wax paper or anything. Cause, um, they'll, um, they'll mildew. So even if they dry out, that's fine. The um the pigment in them it, it doesn't affect the pigment when they dry out they just reactivate when I put them in some water just just like the elegant writer <laughs> all right I am going all over but let's finish the back of these okay we got plenty of ideas for the page itself so let's at least finish these crazy things before we say good night. At least. At 
the very least. Oh, they're sending from Canada. Can you send them from Canada? I guess so. It's the top. It isn't. I don't know. I'm not going to say. I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. One, two, three, and then I'll have to find one for the other one. Don't want to get glue on that. Time is it? Oh, it's not that late. It seems like I've been here longer. How come? <laughs> I mean, we have been here a long time, but I thought it was even longer than that. I think because I feel like I'm not getting stuff done. I think we're going off on a tangent in different directions and not. Not getting done what we're supposed to. No, it's um it's 9 30 here you know and sometimes i'm here till midnight with you guys so i don't know why it seems so much later i guess because i feel like i'm not um like i said i feel like i'm not getting enough done in the amount of time that we've been here Okay, we're getting there. Ooh, you're in 
early bird hygiene. My dogs woke me up this morning. I think they heard rabbits or squirrels or something going on, and they were like, let me out, let me out, let me out, out, out let me out, let me out. And they were all like, gosh, attacking me. I knew they all did not have to go to the bathroom at the same time. Sure enough, I opened the door and pew, I mean, they took off like a rocket. I still don't know what they were chasing, but usually we just either have little rabbits or, or squirrels. Occasionally, a moronic cat will go in our yard. With four dogs, I don't know why, but like I said, a moronic cat. All right, and then I need one other paper for this one. And let's see which one I pick. Hmm, kind of matchy matchy, but that's okay. That can be a good thing sometimes. Okay, these need to dry. Okay, let's see if I don't cut pieces, parts off of, <laughs> off of the pour <clears throat> Mermaids.
Do you hear a train? Um, you might. I I mean, I don't. I never hear anything. <laughs> you may have. See, I'm so distracted. I don't know. I'll say maybe. <laughs> Either that or I got hungry. I don't know. My husband's always asked me the same thing. Did I hear blah, blah, blah? I go, I don't know. Did you? <laughs> Just because, you know, I didn't doesn't mean that you didn't. <laughs> he goes, did you hear that? I, go, I wasn't paying attention. I was doing other things. So then I'll look at the dogs. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear it? And they always act like they did. You know, they start wagging their tail and getting all excited. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We heard it. We heard it. Can we have a biscuit now? Okie dokie. Then we're going to put some little... A little something around there. Kathleen, I am surprised your doctor's offices are open. None of ours are. Everything has to be, I mean, unless you're, you know, super sick or whatever. But then they make you go to the emergency room everything is teleconferenced what state are you in inquisitive minds want to know About, I would say, two, about three weeks ago, that's what they were doing, you know, where my husband's doctor was. They would take your temperature and this, that, and the other. I told my husband, uh-uh, you're not going. You don't have to have a temperature to have the virus. They've said that a hundred times. Not everybody has a temperature. So that means you could be going into a enclosed waiting room where everybody touches everything and everybody's coughing all over the place. With people that have it, and you just because they don't have a temperature means diddly squat. My husband has underlying ish uh, health issues, and I told him, No, you're not going. It was just a regular checkup, you know, uh, root something routine. I said, No way, Jose. Alrighty. Hi, Penny. Thank you so much. All right, so at least we have the backs. I'm going to have to go back and, you know, how I miss, we all miss little edges here and there and glue those down. Let me clear up some of this mess.
Oh my goodness, it's taking forever. Okay, so. <laughs> How many hours later? <laughs> Let me clean my glasses. I've been touching them and <laughs> they got some glue on them. <sighs> okay. Let's see. What do you guys chit chat about? What? Made you go in and went and refill. Oh my God. Goodness. Yeah, our all of our doctors, all <laughs> my husband's, he's the one that has situations. Um, they all called like three weeks ago and said they were all canceled until further notice. And um, and then about a week and a half later, then they all called and said, Okay, well now we're set up for you know doing the conferencing over either the computer or your phone. And so they rescheduled his appointments for that. So, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm su I'm surprised. I'm surprised they're making you guys do that. Seriously. Very surprised. And let me tell you, socially and when I say socially, I mean social things. I, I think I live where, in a real backward area <laughs> and they won't even let you go to the doctor here. <laughs> so I'm going, wow. So I'm really surprised other people, other places are still making you go in. Oh, I am really shocked. Yeah, we're, we're a little slow here. They were going to have the animal advisory board meeting, which my husband's on the board. Like it was about a couple of weeks ago. And the uh, board of directors of the city are the ones that are in. They don't attend it, but they're in charge of it. It's under their umbrella. And so my husband wrote them a email and said he will not be attending due to blah 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 and at that point it still was kind of you know they were still trying to make light of everything I think in in general terms um I'm talking about the federal government and so they kind of like were telling my husband well if you don't go Um, I think there's so many meetings they can miss and then they'll question if they can stay on the board. So I forget the term for that, but basically if he didn't, they were letting him know if he didn't show up that he would, it would come under that, you know, he'd have like one tick against him or whatever. And Richard goes, fine, <laughs> whatever, you know, and then Things, as you all know, changed very quickly all over the place. And then they were all notified that it was going to be canceled um, completely. So my husband goes, about time.
Okay, so those are all glued down. They're all nice and cozy now. Ready for whatever we decide to do. Okay, what am I missing out on? Let's win our... Oh, how to attach the how to attach the papers in the spine. Are you talking about uh, you're talking about the block that I have here? Is that what you're referring to? If that's what you're referring to, um, what I did today is I got some fabric tack and I glued down a piece of fabric. See, I left flat. I glued some fabric to that, and that helps stabilize, whoops, stabilize my pages also from getting a little wonky and falling apart. And then what I'll do after I'm done, or maybe before, I'm not sure when I'll do it. Um, I'll do it on camera so you can see it. But all I'm going to do is cover these pages up, the front and the back, with some, you know, Probably some of my paper, my um, jelly print papers. And then um, after I do all that, I'll just put a bunch of glue here. I mean, a bunch of glue only in here and sit that in there and close it so it glues down really good and leave that for like a day. And then after I've done that and that's all glued in there, then I'll glue this down onto the paper that's there, just like that on both sides. And that will be it. And then it will be in there all nice and cozy, cozy, cozy. When the time comes out, I'll show, show you how to do it. Oh, I didn't cut that either. Man, there's stuff sticking out all over the place. Whoops. Okay, now. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to think about for some reason, I feel like I really need to think about how I want to do this. Be and the reason why I know I need to think about it is because it is like, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. And until I get that feeling, I just wait a little bit. And then at some point I get, ah, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I almost got that feeling with this one, with these. And, you know, I may come back to those. I did get a pretty good feeling from all this. I was almost there. And it may end up being that. Oh, the big head has to go in there. The big head goes in there. Small head goes over here. Because see, if I put these on the top it's going to get kind of pretty bulky it may not look that bulky but then when you feel all that lumpiness look <laughs> but you know that's the nature of an altered book i mean most altered books when you're done you can't close them you know you just have to display them open like that or you know, standing up and open, uh, you never have a altered book that closes up anyway. They're not supposed to. Let's put it that way. They're not supposed to. Hmm.
Let's see, what else is going on? That's for sure, Arlene. It's going to be a real alligator, but that is very appropriate for funky fish. You do need an alligator, a book for funky fish. So I'm not worried about that. <laughs> How about using a corner router on back ground? Of, um, oh, that might be a cool idea. And I actually have one. Cha-ching. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it cuts through this. This is pretty thick. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Whoa. And then when I do the little black stuff on there. Oh, yeah, that looks better already. Like a wave. Oh, thank you. Excellent idea. And it serves as a catapult, too. I love when things have a multi-purpose. Oh, and... Should we do the bottom, too, or just the top? those down with it because that was pretty thick. Yay! Okay. Whoops, what happened here? We got a crossover. Okay, yes, I like it. Just gives that little added touch to it. I like that. Ta da! The bottom helps prevent them from catching. <clears throat> you mean if I do the bottom? Should I do the bottom? For sure, it'll help it from catching if I put that netting, right? Is that what you guys are saying? Which is very true. Which is very, very true. Here, not so much. It doesn't matter. But once this is kind of glued down, it might catch all those little holes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's do them. Let's, let's make it, let's make it, um, catastrophe, catastrophe free. I can't say that. Woo! Catastrophe free. So I can't even say it's slow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie.
And I just did them all because you might want to switch the front one with the inside one and vice versa. So that way you can you can switch your them anywhere you want them. Alrighty. Thank you for the idea. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. See, that's what I miss about having my friends come over. We, we sit around and we do stuff together and we go, how about this and how about that? And, and we get good ideas from each other. So this is the next best thing. And here we were getting excited for spring. I was going to have some workshop here. Uh, we were going to do some eco dye. We were going to do some fabric dye. We were going to do some cyanotype. We were, what else were we going to do? All kinds of fun stuff this spring. <coughs> Nothing happening. <coughs> Okay, so I'm getting your toe in there. What? I missed something about the toe. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Boy, whenever I hear that thing go clunk, I just imagine your finger in there. It's like, oh, my gosh. I get all paranoid with all these tools. All right. So. Not sure what I'm going to use. Probably that little. This thing. This thing really kind of works for. You know, when I want to paint this up. And then after I do this, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is permanent. Oh, definitely not. Look what happened there. Okay, you can use the <laughs> if you don't want to <laughs> if you don't want to spend the money on these, but of course it's not going to be permanent once it's been wet, but you could always put a fixative on it. But you can get kind of sort of the same look with this. <laughs> mm -hmm, look at that. Woohoo! Who knew? Well, maybe you guys knew. I didn't know. So I better not do that because if I wet that, it's all gonna get all crazy on me so i better wait on that and use something else something permanent okay good thing i tested that all right so are you guys are you guys um are you guys done it's <laughs> it's three hours <laughs> Hey Donna, am I am I doing am I doing good scrapbooking? <laughs> what kind of elegant writer? What do you mean? What kind? What color? I used black. That's the only thing I use is black. And I got a pack of them, and I just grab one. I don't use any particular one, but they're black. Oh, yeah, the seashells. Well, I was going to do the seashells, but I can't do the seashells until I know what I'm doing with this because, because it's not done. The seashells will go on after I decide what the heck I'm doing because, see, the holes would go, like, right here, and um, I need to have it finished. If I'm going to put a pocket, 
the pockets need to be there before I put before I put the seashells. Are you talking about the other one? Oh wait, 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 wait. You talking about these seashells or these seashells? <laughs> Because I'm kind of leaning toward those, but you saw how it didn't close. And when I was thinking about these, these are hanging out. So that won't, you know, that won't add to the alligator, the alligator look. So, um, yeah, if you're talking about these, I can't do these until this page is completely done. If I'm going to put pockets, the pockets have to be in already. Because then there's going to be holes here, and then I won't be able to, uh, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So. Yeah, Betty, this is technically a calligraphy pen. That's what it's made for. I still don't understand it being a calligraphy. I really don't. I don't get it. Because if you wrote with it, and you know how long it takes to write really pretty with that, you could not get it wet. If you got it wet, it, it ruined the whole thing. So I, I don't understand it. But I guess I don't have to. So it is a calligraphy pen. Elegant writer. It's by Speedball. All right. So if you want, if you guys want to do the seashells, we have to decide once and for all how we're attaching these guys. Unless we just cram those two puppies in there. Ugh. See, I'm holding this down to see if they even fit in there. And um, and hope for the best. And then decorate this. I don't know. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, they do fit. It just looks like a full house. And then we could decorate all this with something, you know... Cool. I don't know what. Something cool. Oh, you know what? If we did a pop-up on there. Now, let's save the pop-up for a separate page. We don't need to put all of our techniques on one page. So is that what you guys want to do? You just want to leave those in there, and then we'll decorate this, and that will give us the opportunity to put in the shells. Is that what we're doing? Oh, a clear pocket. Oh, I like how you think. I like how you think. That way nothing's lost. Oh, my goodness. Do I have any? Let me go see what I have. Oh, my God. Oh, I love how you guys think. Okay, I've got these little weird little things. Oh, I don't think it's going to fit. Um, I got this at a place they sell, you know, at like a, um, lots of just crazy stuff that the average person is never going to use. But, you know, we use it. <laughs> oh. But wouldn't these be fun? Oh, shit, they're too big. Oh, they're way too big. I envisioned them smaller. But nothing, I mean, they're not going to, how about if I just, hmm? And they fit so well. 
Let's sacrifice one and see what happens. Let's just sacrifice one and see what happens. Okay, let me find a pen, let me find a pen. I don't even know how we're gonna glue it down though. You guys gotta let me know how are we gonna how are we gonna glue this down? I don't know how to glue this stuff down. And then what I could do is get the napkin with the um with the coral and glue it onto here. And so when you pop her up, she's coming out from the coral. <laughs> okay, people, how do I glue this? What do I use to put that on there? So you don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I guess it doesn't matter because we're gonna put enough stuff on there. What would you guys suggest? And it's only one time. Once I put it down, that's it. If I pull it up, I'm going to ruin my whole page. What do you guys think? Glue dots. Glue tape. I don't have a glue tape runner. Um, see, I hardly use that kind of stuff. Let, oh. Oh, but the carpet tape will show. You'll see a big old blob of tape. I'm trying to avoid, because um, I got that other goofy tape, right? I've got this goofy tape. This stuff's really, really good. Let's practice with the part that I, that I cut off. Where's that part? Where's the part I cut off? I just cut it off. Where'd it go? Where did it, where, where did it go? Uh, of course, it's see-through. I can't see it. Okay, there's that. There's that. Whoa. You know, I just cut a part off. We were all here together. We were all here together. <sighs> well. <laughs> Guys, how can I lose that in two seconds? Okay, well, I have plenty of these. I can sacrifice the one I sacrificed. And as soon as I sacrifice this, you know I'm going to find the other part. All right, so. Let's see how ugly it looks with this. Let me glue it down. I do not want to practice on my page, my real page. You put it off to the left. Hmm. Oh. I was a good girl. I put it in the trash. Thank you. Can you believe it? I put it in the trash. Thank you. Tell you, I can't do this stuff without you guys. 
Let's just see if it's, oh no, this, it can't, won't work. This isn't clear. I forgot. This is white. All that for that. I forgot that this was, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so next, let me think. I do have just regular old double-sided. I mean, you know, just like regular old double-sided tape. Let's see. Oh, where did I put that? I just threw it away in a temper tantrum. <laughs> Here we go again. What did I do with it? I threw it in the trash, but I must have missed the trash because now it's not in the trash. I found it. I missed the trash altogether. Okay, so forget that. We know that's not going to work. So let's put this over here. This is just regular old. Oh, not too bad. You hardly see it. Let's see how strong it is. No, it'll come off super easy. Okay, next. Next. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Use my eyelid. Use the eyelid. So put the eyelids right there. Oh, I can't do it there. I have to keep that open, but I could put it there. There and there. And I don't even have to put anything on the bottom if I don't want it, just be kind of floating. Because this is the ocean. We need some floaters. That might work. I wonder if the thing will tear though. So we need to play with this one. Because if I put it in and then, you know, when you open this up, the hole from that, you know, starts to like weaken and tear and stuff. You have to anticipate stuff. Especially when you put a lot of effort into these crazy pages, <laughs> just for them to fall apart. Okay. Yeah, the ocean with orange water. Hey, watch it. You don't really know all the colors in the ocean. Have you been way deep down? I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Um, just floating away. Even if you use the white tape, the neck. Oh, oh, I already forgot about the napkin. So if I put the tape here, here, and here, I can make sure that I've got a little bit of napkin around those sections. I like that. I like how you're thinking. Yeah, because the, the, you know, the least amount of tears and holes and stuff I put into this, I think it will, you know, last a little bit longer. I'm, I'm hoping. I don't really even know. I've never even used one of these. But my assumption is that, see, I'm afraid that right away and that right away. So if I put tape in the back here and here, and then when I do the... um. I think what I should, I'm thinking at the same time. I think what I should do is put the napkin on the edge, some kind of a design here, make it go over so I have a little bit of the napkin right there so that between the, the napkin and the glue that's holding down the napkin will kind of reinforce that corner. Do the same here. And that'll give a little bit of reinforcement. And then put the tape. I think it might work. Oh my gosh, if it works, it'll look so cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. I got to meditate for a second. See if I'm thinking of all the things that can go wrong. Oh, I should be looking to see what you guys are doing. <laughs> I'm getting an oceanic lecture. I love it. Yeah, I do have the carpet tape, but that carpet tape is white, just like that other tape. Isn't it? Let me go check. No, I don't. You're making me doubt myself, you guys. Yeah, it's white, just like that other tape. It's too thick. It's I was trying to remember where my carpet tape was. <laughs> it's right over here. Last time I used it, I didn't put it away. Okay, so. Yeah, this is. Um, see, it's white. White and thick. So um, I'm better off just using the other one. It's not clear. It's the same as this, as far as the color is concerned. All right. We got to get serious now. If you glue on. Huh? If you glue on the napkin. Um, I don't think, I don't know. My answer is, I don't know. So, so one step at a time. I've already cut one, so now I'm going to put on some of the um, napkin, see what happens when it dries, see what it looks like, you know, all over the place, see if it's a, a mess and I don't even like it, and we'll know, we won't know until we try it. So, we will not know until we try it. Let me find <clears throat> So I have some of this left over. I have that one. I have some of that left over. <laughs> 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 um, oh no, you won't believe what I just found. You will not believe what I just found. Just when you think you're organized. I always think I'm organized, and I always find out that I'm not. So I don't know why I keep trying to convince myself that I am. 
since all I do is disappoint myself. So. Okay, so. <laughs> but this still isn't enough to hold um, to hold anything in place. But it might be enough to hide stuff. It might be enough to hide stuff. But let's try the napkin first. One thing at a time. One thing at a time, Rosemary. One thing at a time. So, I need some color so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. We are going to find out together if this works or not. Once and for all. And then I'll just put little pieces in strategic places where I know the tape is going to be in the back side. Now, like right here, for instance, if right here I wrap this around, you're not going to see it because this is already covering it and it'll help protect that little corner. In my mind, that's what it's going to do. What it really does, I don't know. So let's start with that concept. And we'll see what happens after that. Let me cut a little way out of here to give it a little. Because we only need to cover up about of a half an inch in. Right, 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 right. So that I... So you guys can see, like, when somebody asks you, well, how did you come up with that idea? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, first of all, half of the things aren't my idea. <laughs> and the other half, who knows, it just kind of morphed. <laughs> You lie like some people and say, oh, I just have a natural talent. <laughs> I, I, I see it in my head. Then I go into the studio and I translate my thoughts onto the canvas. Yeah, right. Get real. Ah, oh, and my eyes are watering. Ugh. Blink, Rosemary, blink. Oh. oh, my goodness. I think tomorrow is a holiday here in the United States. Am I correct? I mean, as far as the um, post office and um, all that kind of good stuff, right? Or am I making that up in my head? Okay, I'm liking that. Now, see, right here is where I can wrap that. I scoot that over right there. You won't see it. Excellent.
All right, is that all the, <laughs> I forgot to double check. I hope that's all the layers. Yeah, that looks pretty thin. Okay. All right, so now I gotta figure out what kind of glue I'm gonna use. Um, I guess just some kind of uh, glue stick, I guess, because I'm afraid if I put, oh boy. Maybe if I put the other kind of glue before it's dry, maybe I can wipe it because, you know, it's the plastic. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Remember, this is our practice one. So let me find, let me find a glue stick that actually has glue in it. I'm running so low on everything, you guys. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try this and see if I don't totally, totally ruin this guy. Let's see. And that will avoid getting any on there. That's the tricky part. Well, the edge, all of it. Oh, stop it right there. Stop, 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 stop. Let's just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. If it tears, you got another napkin. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I was afraid I'd make that mistake, and I did. So, ah, improvise, Rosemary. Improvise. There we go. So we got a little bit there at least. Not as much as I wanted to, but some.
one down. Now we gotta put a little something something here and then If I don't want to put the tape all the way down, I could just put a piece of tape right here and then all I have to do is put a little something there so that it isn't solid. Right, right, right. I don't even have to put anything there to tell you the truth. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Might take us the next 10 hours, but we're getting there. Oh my gosh. Woohoo. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to cry. Okay, now. We could just have a little fishy floating across where you want to put a piece of tape. And down here, another little fishy. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Calm down, Rosemary. Or we just put a little sand dollar down there. Let's just put a little fishy. Let's put a little fishy going. Oopsie. You might as well be a surgeon to do this. My goodness. Still didn't get enough glue on here. There, drown on the glue. Just drown on the glue. So then up here, we want to put some tape. We just need a bigger fish. Or, or we need a big something else.
Okie dokie. I think that'll work. All right. <laughs> uh, how cute is that, you guys? This could be a whole other page in the book. We might be wasting it. <laughs> no, we're not wasting it. But you know what I'm saying. We could do the same technique on another page for a different look. Okay. Oh, look how cute, you guys. <laughs> All right, so now... Now, the truth will be told. Uh-oh, how come this is all coming out? Oh, don't tell me it's not going to stick to it. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh-oh. Look, it's just peeling off. Look, people. It's not sticking. It's not sticking. None of it is sticking. As it dries, it's just coming out. I can see the glue on here dry. <laughs> when that dries, that's going to pop up too. And when that dries, that's going to pop up. Okay. Plan Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we know works on plastic?
there has to be something that works on plastic. How about we just cut another one of these, put it on top of that, and then we try the rivet thing. Not the rivet, you know what I mean, the, um, the brad thing. Because you know I'm not giving up on this idea yet. I might have to work on this tomorrow and figure out a solution. Because I'm not letting it go. And then this will hold that in place. I'm going to have to think about this. I don't know if I have glue dots. I gotta go check. I usually don't get stuff like that. But sometimes I have at least like one of something. I might have a pack of that over here with me. So what would they be with? Oh, maybe there. What have I got? Like, my labels? I don't think so. Oh, maybe there. Maybe I have them. Let's see. Ooh, what are these? I surprised myself. Okay, only because they were on sale. I think that's why I have these. Okay, this is what I have. I've never opened them. I've never used them. I have got Advanced Strength Permanent Bond Double-Sided Sheets. I don't know what that means. I have the Repositionable ones. And I have these. Oh, these two are the same. So let's open these up. I'm I'm I swear I've never used these before, so I don't even know how you use these. Whoa. How come I can't even get the paper off of them? Is that supposed to come apart? Oh, it's a full sheet. They're not dots. That's probably why it says sheet. <laughs> so no, I do not have glue dots. Well, let me let me double check. I didn't think I did. Nope, that's all I have. 
No. So now what? Rosemary. PVA glue. Well, that's what I was trying to do, Peggy. I was trying to get these two together. I was going to put this over this. But again, what do I use to glue those together? If I can't get paper to glue to it, how am I going to get plastic to plastic to glue together? I don't know what to use. I was going to cut one of these, take it apart, and put it over that one. But, you know, what am I going to use to glue it together? I might need some crackers. Oh. You know, some things are not meant to be. Some things are not meant to be. But I kind of sort of think this is meant to be. It's just too cute. Okay, what I could do. Well, no matter what I do, it doesn't solve the problem. Even if I were to get these all together and be cute. How am I going to get this to glue to that if I can't get these to glue to this? You know what I'm saying? So I solve one problem and then I just have the same problem on a different surface. Hmm, let me read what you guys are saying. Cut those strips and sheets. Double-sided tape. We already went through all this. The double-sided tape looks horrible because you can see right through it. The other cheap double-sided tape I have just peels right off. It doesn't stick to this. Um, what about Canada? <laughs> I don't have a clear adhesive sheet of anything. This is not clear. I can't even get it to open. Yeah, I'm not playing with this on that because I'll ruin my whole book if something goes wrong. So I'm not even going there, ladies. Sorry. I'm not going to sacrifice my whole book. Oh! Ooh, those are clear, though. They don't feel very sticky. That doesn't feel sticky at all. I don't think that's... That doesn't seem too advanced permanent bond. Yeah, I... Uh, I got to pick my battles because I don't want to ruin my whole book. Oh, staple it. Yeah, I could put, I could put this on top of that with just one cover. And then staple these, but I don't know if I like the look of the staples either. I'm kind of picky, guys. Because I'm gonna go through all the work of something. I I this is how I this is how I am. 
I'm really like lax about a lot. Of, oh, let's throw that. Let's throw that. Whatever. But then if there's something that's almost almost done, I don't like to just throw something in there to throw it in there to get it done because of all the work that's gone into it. Midstream, yeah, maybe I'll take a chance. But when it's almost done, mm -mm, you're going to find me taking less and less chances the further the project has gone. <laughs> Just because, you know what I'm saying? Um, too much work has already gone into it to mess it up. Now, if this was more grungy and industrial, I'd put staples all over the place. But I don't see staples um, really working with my vision. Unless there was something I could cover the staple with. But then we go again about gluing something on it to cover it up, which is our original problem. I think I'm going to have to wait for tomorrow to figure out what to do with this. Collage. I can't collage the back of. The, I can't collage anything. That's the whole point. Nothing sticks to it. If I could collage to it, it would it would be a done deal. It's not sticking to it. That's the problem. See, just peeling right off. Yeah, if I could collage, I just collage the front to make it look kind of cute when when the little mermaid goes behind the stuff. So, <laughs> so it was what? Monofilament. I don't even know what that is. Try using white glue. Put it on who? Boo's page. Who's Boo? Who's boo? Okay. Obviously, this isn't going to work. So let's, like you guys are saying, let's try some glue, just regular old glue, and see what happens. Let's try the Mod Podge, see what happens. But we didn't use that because we didn't want it all sloppy all over the place. But, you know, hey, we may not have a choice when it comes to that. So let's see what happens. What can it hurt? It's not going to work anyway, so let's see what something that might work. Let's see. Let's just do the whole thing so that whatever, however it dries, at least it'll be uniformed. <laughs> right? Right. It just might make it a little milk, you know, look like it's under the underground, maybe. We'll find out real fast. We might be worrying about nothing.
Let's just let's just glue it down, see what happens. So it dries kind of, you know, foggy, dirty, milky. Let's let this cool down a little bit and see if it just all peels up. Mod Podge, yeah, it probably isn't like a real glue, huh? I think the only other kind of like real glue I have is like Elmer's. <laughs> well, isn't Mod Podge a matte medium? That's what it says on the front, matte medium. It's just cheap matte medium. Matte medium is just acrylic glue is all it is. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's a little foggy, but at least it's stuck. I mean, close up, you know, it, it's not, you know what I'm saying? You can see all the brush strokes and everything, but I say, who cares? What do you guys think? Who cares, right? I don't think it'll glue the pocket to the page, but I think the glue thing I have will. So let me um, get that little spare. What did I do? Holy lordy, lordy, lord. What did I do that little spare piece again? 
I should like put a big X on it. <laughs> I just got too much stuff here. Or did I end up already using it and tossing it? Or what did I do with that? Here it is. So I've got a little piece of that on here. That tape. And let's put it on some paper that's like that. And that was the whole reason of, you know, getting the napkin so we could cover up that tape. Why is it coming up? Now it's coming up off the paper. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? That's weird. Okay, I just had to press. I didn't press hard enough. Well, I think if I really, really tried, I could get it to come off. Well, maybe not. It's not coming off of this, actually. It's coming off. I'm getting it off the paper almost. Oh, no, it's coming a little bit off of both. But maybe I didn't rub it enough there. Because at some point, it kind of stops. It's good, en good enough for our purposes. It's not strong enough to, like to... If you were building upon something to create the actual book. But um, for our purposes, I think it'll work. Because they're never going to be lifting up the bottom one. It's just going to be always this one to tuck that into, you know. I'm thinking. And then that was that cheapy double and it didn't do anything. Rosemary, do another one and only glue where the napkin is. Huh? Well, it's kind of hard with that shape. You know what I mean? You're talking about that? It's going to leave a little stuff around. That's why I figure if it's going to leave it messy, I want the whole thing the same. So it's not as obvious. If all this was pretty and clean and then you had all this like right here, like on the edge, it would real that to me would look worse than it being uniformed if if you know what I mean. I mean that's just for, like for my taste. Because it almost looks, you know that I forget the name of that glass that um you use in stained glass work and sometimes Kitchen cabinets have that wavy, that wavy glass in there. That's kind of what it reminds me of. There's a name for it. I forget what it's called. I used to know the name of that stuff. I'm a little brain dead now. But, you know, the more I look at it, the more I'm okay with it. No, it's not the frosted. It's another, um, I can't remember the name right now. <sighs> Just like the other night when I was trying to think of that, uh, <laughs> that, I didn't put the glue back here on this part, that, um, that shell. I was like, uh, 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 I couldn't think of the name of that shell for the life of me. It was like a, a relative of my time. Okay, I'm I'm getting I'm getting kind of used to it. It's not bugging me as much. So before I commit and glue it down, let's make the other side, the other one. 
And maybe if I look at it all together, I'll go, eh, what the hey, let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. What's all this, all this worrying about? Let's just do it. I wonder how my, um, where'd it go? I wonder how my Santa types are doing because I just did those today. And as the day goes on, uh, they, they continue to, um, to change for the, like the next 24 hours. All right, so now we get to put some more napkin. Maybe a little bit of this coral. Well, I don't have to have that much. It's over here. I need it, right? Right. All right, so I had to wrap it around that little corner so it doesn't tear. And I need some on the bottom, so I'll need a fish there. Let's see. Maybe just another section of the coral over there. And there you got a piece. So I need tape here and here. And a little piece up here. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What time is it? Oh my gosh. And I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I think I'm getting anxiety going grocery shopping. Who would think you'd get anxiety going grocery shopping? Where we live, they now just let so many in at a time based on the square footage of the store. When you go up and down the aisles, you can go in one direction. I feel like I'm in a science fiction movie. Soylent Green. I'm just, you know, waiting for them to serve me to somebody. And then if you get there at the wrong time, then you're in line. Hello? With people. And they have you, <laughs> this is the irony, they have you in line to avoid people, but you're in line with the people so that you can avoid people inside of the grocery store. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> See, I'm getting anxiety just thinking about it. All I want is a stinking egg. <laughs> well, I don't miss shopping because I always hated shopping, but I miss, you know, not thinking that I'm going to be, you know, attacked by some virus. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, they make you stand six feet apart. Um, where I go to, but um, that that gives me, you know, no comfort. <laughs> I still feel like I'm in a science fiction movie. It was funny you say, Peggy, they have no concept of space. Um, that concept of space is very American, I must tell you. And I'm sure, you know, you've been to other countries. I think you've mentioned you've been to, I shouldn't say I'm sure. For some reason, I think you have mentioned you've been to other countries. And space, personal space, is a very American concept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I well, let me phrase that. Anglo. I'm not going to say American. I'm going to say Anglo. That's a better because there are countries in Europe that have the same mindset but it's their Anglo countries. Back off, you're in my space. My husband was reading the other day that Rhode Island is being hit really hard. And we used to live in Rhode Island. We have lots of friends still in Rhode Island. And Rick, my husband, he says, why do you think it's hitting Rhode Island so hard? And the first thing that came to my mind is um, people in Rhode Island are very kissy, kissy face because you have a lot of Portuguese, a lot of Italian and a lot of French. What do they all do? Huggy, huggy, kissy, kissy face. And so um, I think that's why it kind of spread there um, pretty rapidly because by the time people knew not to be a bunch of kissy faces, they had already kissy faced everybody they knew in town. So again, those cultures, no distancing. They're literally in your face kissing it <laughs> whether they know you or not trust me i know <laughs> under different times it's a nice little custom <laughs> not so much now <laughs> but you stop and think about different cultures look at how it hit italy so bad why do you think my theory kissy face Now, you may doubt my theory, but I stand by it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this over. Toward the bottom here, and then put no, I have to have something there. I have to have something there, so this has to go there. Okay, so that'll go there, and then I need something again up here. So I already have that, so I have to put a fish up there so it doesn't like the mirror image. 
Let me find some fish. Let me find some fish. Where's my fishy stuff? Wow, Kathleen. They're really taking that to heart, huh? That's why I figure, why are doctors having you come in? If they got to stay six feet away from you, they can be closer to you on a monitor, you know, on the computer or, <laughs> or, um, or on your phone. They shouldn't be touching you. They shouldn't be. They can't touch you if you're six feet away, right? Okay, let's put Mr. Fishy there, maybe. Maybe. I'm getting hungry. I ate at about four o'clock. I might have to go get me my crackers and put the pot on for some tea. Okay, so we'll put that little booger right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. I put that right there. So now all I do is I need something kind of sort of right here. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Betty's a smarty pants. She knows me. She's a little smarty pants. She knows what's going on. Chug-a-lug, chug-a-lug. Do I want that or do what I want a... That looks too much like they're just following each other. And I have to put it on the bottom. So that looks too um, like they're not keeping their six feet apart. So. I can't believe how long this is taking. I have a short attention span. That's why I like to go from things to things. I have been spending way too much time on this page. Way too much. 
I'm going a little seasick. Uh, <sighs> uh oh, it needs to go that way. Is that going to look too goofy? I need space. Maybe it has to go that way. Oh. But see, now that looks too much like that color. I don't like it. This is taking too long. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't I see that before I cut it? I don't know. Okay, that might have to be where all those pieces parts go. All right, here we go, ladies. Now or never. Thank you, Jennifer. They came out kind of cute, huh? I even like them. <laughs> Sarah, what are you doing? Sarah's leaving. I didn't even know you were here. My buddy, Sarah. Good night, Sarah. You're not even going to wait for the heart attack moment here? Oh, my gosh. Got all these stealth guys watching. I don't even know you're here. To get it so it wraps some of it around right there. Oh my goodness, why didn't I cut that right? Oh, why didn't you guys tell me? Holy moly.
Okay, Mr. Fishy Face. Oops. Now we're talking about mammograms. And we'll turn that back there. The paper can protect that one section. <laughs> oh, booby prize. Oh, my goodness. Karen Jennifer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what all the fuss. I mean, I hear so many women fuss about it or don't want to go or complain about it. And I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal.
I was thinking it might look kind of cute is when I glue this in, if I glue in the rest of his body down to the page, what do you guys think? Oh, it just gets covered up by the other one anyway, so no big deal. Okay. Oh, I'm yawning. Oh, dear. Okay. I see you. Oh, we're putting the big heads in there, aren't we? Or, or not? I can't remember now. It's been so long since we started this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yes, Peggy, that's right. Any day. Whip out that boob. I don't care. Don't whip nothing else out. Okay, let me cut that. Well, whoops, I got to cut this. Oh, it looks kind of cute. <laughs> we figured, Kathleen. And then this goes back there. She can go peekaboo. Wow, this is going to be a pretty thick spread. Look at that. Is it even going to close? <laughs> After all that, oh, we can't put that there. It won't close. <laughs> oh, no. No, it closes, but it's pretty, um, it's getting there. Okay. So, I guess all that's left to do now, well, not all, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot to do still. <sighs> These have to get glued down. Is that dry? This has to get glued down. With the double tape, I guess. We gotta really score that down. And then we've got to attach these somehow. And that. So really, the only place I need to put some tape is right here. And here. Because whatever I punch, if I punch a hole down here, that'll close the bottom up. So I don't have to worry about that so much. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think I'm getting, I think my brain's getting tired. I 
I think the hard work's done. It's just now implementing the closure of that flap. But I think I'm going to like it. Oh, now we're talking about menopause and squishing a bladder. Oh my goodness. Peggy lost sleep over this. <laughs> and lots of tubes being tied. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I'm not going to do any more on this page because I don't want to screw it up. Um, which if I don't do it right, I will. So I will say this to work on when I'm awake, fully awake. But it's going to look really cute. I can tell. You guys can tell. It already is kind of cute, right? It is cute. Oh, dear. Let me put this in the water. Well, it would help if I could find the lid. Oh, here it is. All right, ladies, I am going to let you go. I'm going to hope that my husband folded what was in the dryer, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Because even if he did fold it, it's usually unrecognizable. <laughs> he tries his best, but um, when you go over to the... To where it's folded, um, it's sort of like, hmm, I wonder what this is. I wonder what this used to be. See, this is where I got messed up. The brand is glue dots. I thought I was getting glue dots, but I didn't. <clears throat> got a sheet. Very disappointing. But it holds up to eight pounds. Huh. Well, I guess I can cut it with the same scissors that I do my carpet tape with. Can't be worse than carpet tape. Figure out how to use it. All right, ladies. Thank you for your support, for all your suggestions, and I think it's going to come out a lot better because of those suggestions, and um, there we go. It's going to be a cute page, I can tell. All right, ladies, take care, and I will see you when I see you, and you know that. I don't know when that is. <laughs> okay, good night, ladies. <laughs>